Hi, I'm Jillian Johannesson, and like you, I'm social distancing and doing my schoolwork from home. Unlike you, I'm not registering for classes because I'm a senior. I'm graduating from the CTE program as a film student, and I know it can be confusing, so I'm here to help. First, let's ask this question. Do you know what CTE stands for? I do, but I can't remember it at the moment. I've heard it multiple times. I do not know what CTE stands for. I should know this, shouldn't I? Honestly, I really don't know, but I know it's something important because the CTE directors are nice people. Uh, I've heard it before, but I don't know the actual acronym for it. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> uh, technical something, hold on. Computer and technical education. CTE? CTE. Career technology. Education. Career and technology education. Bingo. <laughs> it essentially stands for career and technical education. We showed you those students so you know you wouldn't be alone. CTE actually stands for career and technical education. These programs will give you insight into what a career in a specific field of study would look like. Let's take a closer look. In the beginning, you're learning like the FFA Cree and like all about FFA, and then next you're gonna go into like wildlife and animal sciences. It's just very informative and it's actually really cool. You can see where your food comes from that you eat. If you like to see animals or deal with animals or just environment in general, go for it. It's fun. I like the class because we do different things in here, we do different projects, and we get to work together as groups, and I get to learn new things. Yeah, you think of an idea, and you film it, and you get this uh, finished product, and it's great. Audio video. So, well, it is my third year of doing this class, and it's very fun and very productive. It's very hands-on, and if you feel like you want to make this as a career, I strongly suggest you do it. It's a blueprint of our dream house. So right now we're designing it, we're making the blueprints, and after we're done making the blueprints, we're gonna build it with popsicle sticks. I like the class because it's a very fun and hands-on class, so it's not always book work, it's more of doing it yourself and learning about it. Well, you actually have to use your brain instead of just they give you a paper and you do it. You don't like, you actually have to like pay attention, be creative. Everything we do in there is based on your own creativity, so that's why I like it so much. I'm in child development, and we learn the proper way to care for a child, and how to get them to where they need to be, and how to be a proper caregiver. Yeah, we get babies, and um, they're fake, but um, they're kind of real, and you just take them home, for a little bit and like it's like a final exam or something and you learn all the things you learn in the classroom you put to take care of that doll um, we do a bunch of presentations and which basically helps us learn about the marketing business and finance like world basically it's to help uh, give us jobs we do a bunch of uh, projects that helps us express our emotions on how we feel about certain areas and the uh, marketing uh, like field and we do a bunch of hands-on stuff with the iPads and presentations and learning about um, like prosperity and just how to be a good manager and have good ethics in uh, a business life. We mainly we work on bringing kids out of their shells and helping kids learn to speak freely in front of people. It helps us a lot with like jobs and future careers with anything that involves talking to anyone really. We also use technology and incorporate technology into our English. In BIM, I learned how to uh, do Excel and Microsoft Word. I know nothing about computers and I don't know how to work them, but now I can like do stuff on Microsoft Word that'll help me get a job and type stuff and
Last year I had her for um, medical terminology and I went and took a, an internship at a physical therapy place over the summer and I learned like, it was like almost an exact carbon copy what they had on the um, on the medical reports and the and what she had taught us. I want to be a surgeon whenever I grow up and I thought this would be helpful. And kind of plan ahead if you want to go into the medical field to take medical based classes I guess. I want to be a lawyer because like I love law, I love criminal, and I like love psychology. Like I love thinking what people think and why they do stuff. And basically this class is just about law. So just follow your dreams and follow the path that you believe that you're good at and you want to do. And I honestly think that if you want to be a police officer, if you want to be a fighter fighter and a lawyer, then this class is perfect for you. I've always kind of wanted to be an engineer. I think it'd be cool. And my grandparents were engineers, so I might be a course that I might want to take. It's a college level class, and so you're going to be learning a lot of new things and new ways to do things. So I think it's a really neat class. So far we've worked on Surf Safe, which is how to keep the food safe. Uh, personal hygiene and everything that we would need to do in order to be working in the kitchen. We've also learned knife skills which is the different types of cuts to do the lengths and all of the dimensions. So we, if need arises we can use those to garnish or cook something to where it's evenly cooked throughout. The main reason why you want to get started now in high school, especially with the program we have right now, is because if you're going to go to a culinary institute like I am, then it's better to get your certification now as then later. Uh, we do projects that include Photoshop, which basically means, you know, all the advertisements you see or all the cool emblems you see for companies, we basically make those, or for video games or anything that we do. I strongly suggest it. It's the funnest thing in the world that I've done. I've never known how to use Photoshop because I was always bad with the computer. But this class, you know, kind of helped me, you know, bring out my geeky side. And, you know, if you like just messing with computers, I really suggest doing it. It is great. You it's should amazing. definitely try it. Flat top, my favorite class of the day. I love it. Love coming here every day. So you got a Mac computer right in front of you, baby. I like editing, honestly. You do? Yes, I do. Honestly. I like taking. Pictures. Like I really down to earth like editing. That's 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 fun to me. I like walking around school and taking the pictures. One of the most innovative programs that we offer at BHS is our drone unmanned flight program. In this program, students will learn to fly drones for recreation and work skills. At the end of high school, students will have the FAA certification that allows them to fly drones and the skill set to be competitive in the workforce. The cosmetology program will take students on a journey through the study of hair, skin, and nails. The curriculum covers all aspects of cosmetology, including working in a fully functional salon and providing services. The cosmetology program starts freshman year and ends your senior year. Immediately following high school, you have the opportunity to be a fully licensed cosmetologist. Do you like gaming? Making apps? Making your ideas come to life? Well, BHS now offers a computer science pathway where students can learn Python coding throughout high school. When you finish this program, you'll be ready for a high paying job in computer science or be ready to go to a computer science program at a university. Computer science is open to all students with all levels of interest. Basically, you can start your future now. If you want a career in the medical field, start now. If you want to be an engineer, start now. And if you want to make movies, start now. I think you get my drift. The CTE programs at Brewer allow you to start now. If you have any questions, talk to your parents or email your counselor. Tiffany Molinar is the counselor for those of you with a last name ending in A through D, Beth Sweeney, last names ending in E through K, Michelle Swallow, last names ending in L through RN, and Lisa Bradley if your last name ends in RO through Z. Remember, they really do want to help.